A Counter Question Carnival Mastering Casual Conversation Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English Language Learning Series. Today, we'll be diving into an exciting aspect of conversational English, answering with counter questions in casual conversations. A counter question, as the name suggests, is a question in response to a question. This strategy can help keep conversations flowing and make them more engaging. So, let's get started. First off, let's clarify what we mean by counter questions. Imagine a friend asks, did you enjoy the movie? Instead of a simple, yes, or no, you might respond with, did you? That's a counter question. It's a way of bouncing the conversation back, keeping it lively and interactive. Now, let's delve deeper into using counter questions in various casual situations. In a social setting, counter questions can help to keep the conversation going and show interest in the other person. For example, if someone asks, how was your weekend? You could respond with, it was great. I went hiking. How about you? What did you do? Here, how about you? What did you do? Is a counter question that shifts the focus back onto the other person, encouraging more dialogue. Sometimes, you might need further information or clarification. In this case, counter questions can be a polite way to ask. If someone says, I really enjoyed the book you recommended, you could reply, Oh, which part did you enjoy the most? Here, your counter question, which part did you enjoy the most, helps clarify what they liked about the book. You can use counter questions to subtly agree or disagree. If you're in a conversation and someone says, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? You could affirm with, Absolutely. Don't you just love this sunny weather? Or disagree with, really? Don't you think it's a bit too hot? In both cases, the counter question is used to express your opinion and continue the conversation. And that's a wrap on our discussion about using counter questions in casual conversations. It's an invaluable tool for keeping conversations engaging, showing interest, seeking clarification, and expressing agreement or disagreement. We hope this lesson has been helpful. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be a master at crafting these counter questions in your everyday conversations. Until next time, keep learning and happy conversing.